right, and welcome back. Hey, guys, and last week we talked about our coil machine with the vending program and how it integrates with the SIS program. Today we want to talk about the locker, and the locker we have is our standard. It is the 18-count. I'll go ahead and transition that over. This is our 18-count locker. Each door generally would have, an, have its own item in it. For example, uh, one of the doors may have medium gloves. Another one may have extra large. You may have rubber glue in another HHS. K and in a whatever I mean, there's a, just a wide variety of configurations and products you can put into these machines. The advantage here is is that these are bulkier items that don't necessarily vend well with a coil or the size of it would not be very conducive. So if you think about a standard size box of latex gloves, trying to fit that through a coil machine is going to be problematic and you're not going to it's not going to vend very well or it's going to take up so much space that it's just not conducive so the locker is really fantastic for that so just like the coil machine technician walks up punches in who they are what job they're working on and i want to get something out of locker 74 74 opens up and whatever's in that is corresponded sent back to the sis program to say that technician whatever took something out of locker 74 whatever that corresponding item is and now you can now you have a chargeable event that's a new term that I've picked up here recently somebody was saying to me now you have a chargeable event that you can charge for so I'm going to go to the next screen here and open this up a little bit now like I said this was from my trip in Orlando last year this was a returned locker uh, so there, this one definitely has a little bit of uh, wear and tear on it, some use. Uh, you see some scratches and sort of that sort of stuff there. It looks worse than what it actually is because my camera's flash was just really just kind of brighten that up against that uh, matte black. Uh, this machine, before it goes back out, will be reconditioned and uh, we'll fresh coat of paint in there to uh, bring it back to life. If you have one of these machines and you're going to try keeping it as nice as possible for as long as possible, I recommend some of our uh, absorbent mats, those gray mats that we sell on the big roll, get some of those, lay them down in the bottom. Uh, you can put aerosol cans on top of that. It makes it a really nice thing. And, this, and if something was to spill, like say you um, had a can of rubber glue decide to uh, be put in the machine uh, opened, <laughs> uh, that would definitely help minimize the mess uh, and uh, not have rubber glue all over the machine and onto the metal and creating a, a very... Uh, challenging cleanup event but uh, the machine itself like I said it's very straightforward now I call it its little cousin because it's actually not as deep as the coil machine is so when you're setting these up and you have them the the faces of them all flush there's a little space in behind a, that you can it depends on where it sits in the floor sometimes uh, people will have a um, like one of those vertical beams in, in a shop, uh, in, like in the metal type stores, you can put that coil, excuse me, locker up against that, and then the coil machine machine beside it that needs a little bit of depth to it, and then you can have those set in there and taking advantage of uh, all the square footage that uh, that is available to you and put it into places that may not always uh, be conducive. All right, well, that's the, the locker, and next week we're going to be talking about the hybrid machine, which is kind of a combination of the two and kind of brings into their strengths, but without, um, without creating too many weaknesses. And I think you're really going to like that. As always, my name's Dave Lehman, and my partner, Joe Castro, we're glad to help you any way we can. If you need to give us a shout, give us a call at our toll-free number, 1-800-864-6561, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day. See you.